Yeah, this is Alpha Bravo. We're coming in for a landing. Over. Now, who doesn't love a nice cold batch of frozen yogurt? This new trend is sweeping the nation, and it's new healthy consumer diet culture where people are going more towards the healthier side. There is actually a location right in our backyard at Penn State Hazleton. Right near the Laura Mall is a place called YOLO, which has been open for less than a year. This place is very kid-friendly and teen-friendly with free Wi-Fi, multiple flat-screen TVs, and a jukebox. This environment is very friendly for all sorts of ages. Yellow is in the food industry, which is a very favorable market for it's always growing and changing, and there's lots of profit to be made. According to Yellow, they say that they are the biggest in their competition in the surrounding area. They have a large variety of flavors to offer, from their most popular vanilla, chocolate, cheesecake, cookies and cream, and many others. They also have sugar-free yogurt and are starting to get into Greek yogurt. They base all their flavors off consumer input, so chances are they'll have a flavor that you'll like. Yellow is a sole proprietorship. The business decisions are centralized. They are all made by the owner. Instead of having managers, they have shift leaders. Shift leaders are chosen accordingly to their performance and drive. This is a classic example of positive reinforcement at its finest. The workers are treated fairly. They start above minimum wage and work their way up. Hours are very flexible according to the worker schedule. That is because most of the workers are students. The owner is very family oriented, which means if there's a family emergency, he will accommodate your schedule. As far as the dress code goes, they're very low key. The owner only asks that the employees keep themselves groomed and wear the company shirt. Hair that is shoulders length or longer needs to be put in a ponytail or hairnet. Appearance is always a key factor. Machines are cleaned on a daily basis. Three machines are cleaned in the morning, and the rest are cleaned at the evening. Every month, all the machines are tested on the cleanliness and on their performance. All this is to make sure that everything runs properly. The company's aesthetics are vital. When you first walk into YOLO and you look around, the first thing that comes to mind is this is a very modern look. This is partly due to the TVs and furniture in the location. There is plenty of available seating, and all the walls have TVs on them. There is also a jukebox in the corner where users can go up and play their favorite songs. When you go up to get your yogurt, you'll notice that each flavor has its own picture, also with a sticker that indicates if it's no fat. Once you pour your yogurt in your cup, you go over to the topping bar, where they have over 30 toppings to choose from. Once you pick your toppings, you put your yogurt on the scale, and depending on how many ounces it is, that's how much you will pay. The general rule of thumb is 49 cents an ounce, regardless of the flavor. As far as their advertising goes, this company uses flyers, radio, speakers that go to campuses, TV, and magazines. They will also go to sporting events and hand out coupons to the people in the event. They also advertise a coupons reward system, where the second visit you get 5 ounces for free. They keep track of the system by handing out codes, and on the 10th visit, anything you fit in the cup, you will get for free. Because this is a yogurt place, many times during the winter, business gets slow. To counteract this fact, they have introduced other things like pies, cake, Belgium waffles, and setting up smoothies to attract customers. As far as frozen yogurt competition, there is none in the area. YOLO's closest competitor is Rita's. YOLO states that it's better than Rita's for many reasons. One is because Rita's closes during the winter and YOLO doesn't. The other one is the health factor. Frozen yogurt is more appealing to the health-oriented people. YOLO seems to be doing well. Its only challenge is the winter season. People won't come in because of the weather. They think they have a bright future because of the positive revenue. YOLO plans to open other locations in the area and become very successful. Their success can be measured off of their business model which is typical in their industry. Overall, YOLO is doing very well in its industry and is looking to make major changes to be very successful in the near future.